Carlos Martinez of Punalu had evacuated when she took these shots of the tsunami about to arrive. That black band across the screen, according to geophysicist Dan Walker, is the shadow of the tsunami that is only about a couple of inches high, approaching at two to three hundred miles per hour. Now as time goes by, uh, you'll see more and more of the ocean uh, exposed uh, above, the, uh, above the top of the shadow, indicating that, uh, that the shadow is moving closer to the shore. Walker says being able to track tsunamis out in the middle of the ocean and actually seeing them could save the state a lot of grief and no other object could cast this kind of shadow. Clouds don't, nor do they move that fast. And the wave arrived at the same time the tsunami was expected. The time on the videotape is 12 minutes slow. He is convinced that that is the first time that a tsunami is seen out in the ocean. Manolo Morales, Channel 2 News. More deaths and greater damage. May 2, 1960, a tsunami caused by a Chilean earthquake left Hilo in shambles. 61 people drowned or were crushed to death. 537 buildings were destroyed. Damage totaled $23 million. Three years earlier, March 9, 1957, Oahu and Kauai were hit by a tsunami caused by an earthquake in the Aleutian Islands. 80 Kauai homes were destroyed and beachfront homes at Laie wiped out. But the worst tsunami in Hawaii's recorded history was nearly 50 years ago. April 1, 1946, Hilo was devastated. Again, the tsunami was generated by an earthquake in the Aleutian Islands. That was before warning systems, and to make it worse, it was the third wave that reached 55 feet high. School children at Laupahoehoe went to the beach to watch the waves and were killed. The death toll from that one tsunami was 173.